So much uncertainty shaking the branches. Kayak. Hey there, Ogel. A strange moment to wander into the stone wastes, I have to say. But hmm, perhaps you have lucky timing. You can see that our village has crashed upon some rough rocks. We won't survive much longer without a strong hand to aid us. A total zilnek of a warlord called Nazosa moved his people into our ruins nearby. They raid the village for supplies, but we don't have any defenses. In times past, Stone Wastes was protected by the Four Winds, but they went their separate ways. After a big argument, they disbanded. Three moved to the outskirts of the village, and one stayed. She died during a raid by Nazosa's people. We need the winds to come back together. Can you talk to them? Convince them to return, and I'll pay you. Oh, good, good. Slivers of bright sun might poke through this storm with your help. Let's start with Elosi, the sudden gust. She lives on the outskirts of town in a hut to the northwest. I should join you so that she doesn't kill you on sight. Of course. Makes sense you would want to know more. The four winds have always wandered this region. No, no. When the wind dies, the title passes to another of their choosing. Well, I already mentioned Elosi, the sudden gust. She glides upon Otumi Ra, the unrelenting gale. Stronger than an ox and tough when those bandits first came to raid our village. She fought them off easily. As a guess, I would say they are Luti Leo. Sharp-eyed people. Oh, he is a vicious, cackling hyena. The first... Well, I used to be the local blacksmith. I do good. Of course I have, Ogel. Do you think I can see them? I'll follow right along behind you. Here's Elosi's hut. She may not be home, but let's check just in case. Doesn't look like she's home. Let's see if we can figure out where she went. Smoke, ash, and fire. Just like her. Hmm. Nowhere to be seen. But all her belongings look like she was just here. You know, a less confident Argonian might start to take this personally. Not off the top of my head, but she can't be too far. It looks like she was just preparing a meal here, so... Perhaps she went... Ah! Elosi! We... we weren't doing anything. You bring a stranger into my home, Noozle? An outsider entering my home unbidden seeks death. You only live because the annoying blacksmith who joins you is familiar to me. But this pause is a temporary state. Speak then. What is so urgent that you would break into my home? Hmm, distressing news. It seems my great fear has come to pass. Where then is Satul Sa? She would never leave the villages undefended. Even once we decided our time was at an end, she insisted on staying. Dead? Satul Sa? She was the smartest and wisest of us all. This is impossible. And yet, since Nuzul brought you, it must be true. 
The consequences of my selfish choice meant the death of my dear friend. Such a bitter lesson. You shall have my aid, if you perform a simple task. When I retired, I buried my blades deep in the ground. Go north to the ruins. Retrieve them for me so that I may avenge Satsul Sa. Be warned, as I made certain they are well protected. My daggers represented a life I thought I left behind. If you are serious about my help, find them, bring them back, and I will become the Sudden Gust once more. You ask to hear a long tale, one that I do not wish to tell. And indeed, so it does. I may have failed it, but I cannot change. Change of plans? And we're off. Don't worry about me. I can keep up. Morrowind has her eye on you. Well, a cache of daggers in the ruins. They must be Elosis. So, you have skills. Even if you did let me sneak up on you. Let's speak. Your test is complete, and with barely a scale out of place. Impressive. Do you like my blades? The hilt is Kaguti bone, and Mirta himself enchanted them. Back when I could tolerate the withered toad. Of course I will. I was always going to. But I needed to see if you could fight by my side. Also, I wanted to finish my meal. I will meet you in the village center, unless you need something more from me. I see. You wish to bring us all back together. Well, a promise was made, and I will keep it. Go southeast to find the dingy hovel where Myrta resides. Look beneath the dirt and rock, and you'll find him. Just don't tell him I sent you. The champion has arrived! All right, don't cry for mummy. Retreated from the cavern for solitude and study. Let's look near there and see if we can find any clues. that 
Myrta retreated to a cavern for solitude. And study. Let's look near there and see if we can find it. Man out! that Myrta retreated to a cavern for solitude and study. Let's look near there and see if we can find any clues. Nothing I've seen. Perhaps more in the ruins. Do these ruins have the same derivation? Maybe if I replace... Wait. What? Who are you? Why are you interrupting me? Leave here immediately! Oh, you brought that dusty blacksmith from the village? You must need something. That sounds like a whole bunch of not my business. Can't you see I am busy with my studies here? I don't have time to involve myself in the toils of others. Satu Sa brought this on herself. Had she any sense of reason, she'd be alive. Was I not clear? Have Nixads stolen my tongue? I said, be gone! Whatever their troubles are, I'm sure it looks much worse to you than it really is. My work, however, could change history. Go! Ka ka ka! You're seeking help from that drunken lout? You'd be better off on your own than with him. But if it gets you out of my scales, you can find him on the southwest edge of the forest near the cliffside. I trust you'll be disappointed. So far, only half successful. Let's go find Otumi Ra's hut. Don't eat the plate, too. Just one more. Those frogs dancing. Uh, no knives have you shouted, Satulsa. No mud puddles for you, sir. Ah, chaos. No response. 
I suppose Myrtal was right. This is the worst I have ever seen Otumi Rock get. Maybe this is what happens when the life of the party no longer has something to celebrate. Let us see. Wait. I have an idea on how to snap him out of it. A briar that grows out this way might help. The seed is inedible and it smells... awful. Especially to Argonians. If we get a couple of those, the smell will overwhelm him and wake him up. If anything is going to work, that will. I seem to remember a field of waking seeds grows to the east of here. Gather a handful, then come back. I will keep an eye on this hero of legends in the meantime. I should warn you, some creatures are attracted to the smell. Keep your scales moist. Was a bit of a warm up. I'm agreeable. already smell them on you. I do not even need to ask. Put them right up to Otumi Ra's nose. Let him get a big old whiff. Hopefully that snaps him right out. Well, the only plan I have next is gathering more seeds and shoving them right up his snout. He does not have a choice. Our village needs his help. Is awful. Oh, what? Who are you? Oh, what horrific stench of dead mules and fried dung have you thrust upon me? All I wish is a gentle slumber under the open skies and upon the mud. Does not a retired fighter for peace deserve such rest? Speak, brigand. No, my greatest friend, and I hoped one day my mate, if she would ever agree. Dead? How can I bear such enormous tragedy as this? Lay the facts under the stone, stranger. Who has earned my unyielding, roiling anger? A battle against murderers and thieves. These are the types of trials I live for. Or at least I used to. 
I imagine you and the blacksmith wish to join my struggle for freedom and revenge. Join me. I must celebrate, my friend, and test your mettle. Join me inside. We'll see what you're made of. my newest friend. By joining me, you choose to engage in the challenge of my choice. Only through completing this test of your endurance and stamina shall I know your worth as a warrior. Do you believe yourself prepared? Oh, yes. I can sense that raging fire in your stout heart. I suspect you have slain many a foe in your travels. But if we are to go into battle together, I must put a fire in your belly as well. And so, we're going to do a drinking contest. What else? Show me that you hold the same strong will that makes for the greatest of warriors. Oh, chum, we shall see if you can withstand the greatest of Argonian ales and wines. Plus, this should help numb the rodents gnawing in my head. Ugh. The drinks are in front of me. You may choose what we drink. Be warned. Mixing Argonian spirits can fell the stoutest outsider. If you do not believe yourself up to the task, you may leave now. I will call you many rude names as you flee, though. Now choose a drink and get started. All right, I'll give this a try. For the village, right? I, I don't... I don't feel so good. <laughs> I can keep this up until the void overtakes us all. Good start, but let's see how you do with even more. <laughs> Bitter, isn't it? I make that myself, from whatever I find around the hut. Ha! Oh, I thought you'd fall to the ground like good noozle after that one. The final one, and still you stand. A will made of true iron you must have. Come, let's speak. Impressive. Such strength, such power, such a stomach. I did not know they made outsiders who could stand against the might of Argonian ale. Uh, would you like to continue? Not as part of the test, just for a wonderful time. Of course, I was always going to. This test was just to see if I would allow you to join me, or cut you down for waking me up. But you passed. Let us link arms and bring the fight to those who slew my dear Satulsa. Two of the three? Let me guess. Myrta refused. Do not be fooled. He has a good soul, but his mood is as legendary as my strength. Here. Take my banner and place it on the cliff above my hut. He won't be able to stand knowing I'm going into a fight that he isn't. So don't worry. He'll be there. I like reading too, you know. If you ever need an excuse. Have no fear for the blacksmith. Some waking seeds shall fix him up.
Still standing, chum? Legs aren't wobbling from fear or drink? No, I don't suppose I need worry about that. Ho ho, more than enough. These people feel a deep fire in their bellies, but... Some... You're right, he isn't here with us, but make no mistake. I spent many... Ah, you arrive. And you managed to rouse Otumi Ra. An impressive act. Especially for an outside... Of course I am. How silly to even ask. The winds of stone wastes have... That is true. Perhaps you are right that I... It is good to see you. At least I think that is you. I could be having ale visions again. <laughs> anyway, you have done it. The winds have reunited, ready for battle. Because you convinced them. Well, two of them, at least. Well, as Otumi Ra carried me back to the village, we started discussing you. And how strong, courageous, and wise you are. And attractive, too. Did I mention that? We hoped you might join their assault on the ruins. Help drive out Nazosa and his dry-scale thugs. There needs to be a fourth wind. That's what the legend tells us. If you join them with this, they cannot fail. Plus... I will pay you more. Lead the charge when you are ready, outsider. The winds will be at your back. Once again, I fight by your side, Otumi Ra. My scales have itched for this moment. Let your blades sing their horrible song, Elosi. I delight in the tune. We are under attack! Those dumb villagers think they can take us! Hold the line, you cowards! And ah, go take my those friend, weapons! Up here! I have need of you! Oh, I can feel the power surging in me once again. Such a battle! Do you think you can help me with this thing? In my youth, I could topple three such pillars with a swift kick. But all things age, even me. Why does anyone want to push anything over? To smash stuff, of course. You outsiders ask such ridiculous questions. I want the catapults below in splinters. So yes, I can push this most of the way. I just need your extra shove to finish the task. Oh, I was hatched ready, you hilarious Deke Biko. Here we go! A crushing like none other! Now hurry, seek out Nazosa. Psst, outsider. Over here. Quickly. Look. Up above us, prisoners from the village kept for sick entertainment. How many of them are thought dead, never to return home? I can release them. You see those pulleys up there? They control the cell doors. I can cut them, but someone needs to open the grate in front of them. Under the southwest tree, you'll find a crank. Turning it will open the grate. Then, I can free them. Huh. Don't worry. This I can manage. Just open the grate for me so I can work. Once you turn the crank, I can reach the other, and the cell should unlock. Continue the fight! 
Remove these pests from our home. Finally, you show. Boss, I have need of you. Perhaps you are surprised to see me here ahead of you? Mirta has many secret abilities that baffle the unlearned. But you reached this far on your own, so... I am impressed. I would ask your assistance in my attempts to clean out our guests. Oh, please. You knew I would show the moment you placed that banner. Did you really think I'd let Otumi Ra revel in all the glory by himself? Rubbish. He knows that he's useless without me here. I think I know how Nazosa killed Satusa. Do you see these weapons? Some mammal liquor enchanted them. With these, a handful of limp fins could fell the strongest of warriors. This is how they killed Satursa, and mean to kill the other winds. We destroy them, of course, but I need the binding word for the enchantment. I refuse to leave these weapons alone, so you need to retrieve it. There's a library of sorts just to the east. Search through the books in there, and you should find it. Look for a scroll that was recently manhandled by brutes. I should have come down here more often when I lived in the village. These tomes are out of date, certainly, but an interesting history. Well, I suppose we're in a battle and shouldn't delay. Did you find the binding word? Ah, astute. There is hope for you yet. I'll make sure these weapons trouble us no more. Now we can land the final blow, and the warlord won't have a counter. Remove his symbol of authority. Walk into his chambers and pull down his banners. That way, his troops will know he is broken. If they don't outright turn on themselves, they'll likely steal what they can and flee. Hired hands are fickle. Now then, let me see what I can do with these. we have anything to cook. what you can.
coming for us. Maybe I should have joined the buoyant homages. The village belongs to us again. Sing for the winds. Sun, bless the winds. They freed us. Here you stand, the stranger who drifted through the mud to save us. And to think, I assumed you were a crow come to pick our bones. We can live in peace once again, and the legend of the winds will continue. Who can ever guess the wind's direction? But I choose to believe so. We reminded them of their strength when they worked together. I suppose you came for the promised reward. From my claws to my tail, I say this in earnest. You deserve this. I do not think we will have much trouble rebuilding. Plenty of... After we rebuild the village and I know we are truly safe, I may start selling...